This is uh, one of my favourite design toys. It's um, for making tea, so you put your tea inside there, close it up, and you can have some great things. Um, but most importantly, he kind of holds onto the cup, so it's kind of fun. Anyway, the point that I'm showing you for is that the main body is basically a series of rectangles, which are easy to do, or a shape you can extrude and push and pull and do things. Um, and that's quite simple, even the holes are quite easy to do. But if you think about his arms, these are curved shapes. They're not um, simple push and pull. That requires a little bit more thought and process. It's very easy to do, and I'm going to show you how. So here's SketchUp, and I'm going to go to so Camera, Standard Views, Right. So I'm just looking straight on. And I'm going to just draw a line up and draw a line across. And why not put a few extra bits in? What I'm going to do here is construct a curve. So using my uh, two-point arc tool, I'm going to go from, click on a point there, make a tangent, print long. There it is, double click. And there, double click. And let's zoom in here, what can we get? Double click. Okay, so we've got this arc, this sort of arc and um, shape. I'd call this a spline. You don't have to know the um, technical name, that's what I'd call it. So you can circle tool, go to the origin, and just draw out a circle. So we have a shape describing the profile, go along our spline, and the spline, which is a direction. We can even, so if we take this and select that path, use the follow me command, and click on the base. And we'll see it follows the path. Now this is quite a simple one. And just so you know, we can then take this and we can rotate it around. We can um, <laughs> do all these kind of things. So that's moving to space. But the thing to remember as well is that we can do complex things. So I'm going to take the line up, take it out on the green direction, take it out of the red direction, up, round. So if you look here, you can see it's a three-dimensional space. And once again, I'm going to check in some curves. Um, they're not actually that essential, but they do help make everything look very nice. And also adds a little bit extra complexity to the model. Let's try and find, there we are, tangent, last one. There we are. So we've got our shape, which is, yeah. And just to prove that we can do different things, I'm going to chuck a hexagon in. So once again, we can select all the elements of the path. Haven't got the last bit, so hold down shift. Select the last bit. Follow me command, click, and there we have it. We've got a hexagon going through this weird place. So this is just a simple example, but you can see that if you can define the path, your profile will smooth through in space, then it's very simple to just draw that path, then use the follow me command to get there. Making something like his arm actually becomes very simple.